Hello everybody, and as a lot of you may have noticed when you loaded up Black Ops 2, there was a update for the game. Now they did a few tweaks here and there, and I was like, bleh, I don't care about that. What I was more caring or concerned or whatever, not concerned, it's not the word, what I cared more about was the official voting for the new personalization packs has officially started. So if you don't know, this is what happens when you go into the game now. You can choose to vote now or remind you later. You have four camos that you can vote for. Two will be put into the game. So these are your options. You can cycle through them, have a look at them, and pick which one you wanna vote for. But what they also did is if you go into your Black Ops 2 game and you load it up and then you go to COD TV, they actually have a trailer that shows all of these camos in game, in action, on guns, on various different guns. You can, so you can see what they look like in game and you can pick which one you like. So what I would suggest is, well, you could just watch this video. But if you don't want to watch this video for some reason and you want to watch it in game, go to Remind Me Later and then click on COD TV, watch the trailer and then go and vote. That's the way that I did it. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer. Afterwards, I'm gonna talk about what I voted for, the two that I want in the game, and you guys can let me know which ones you want in the game. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer. So that is the four camos in action. You get to see them a little bit better than just looking at a picture because that picture was kind of lame and didn't really show us the highlight of the camos. I think from watching that, it's kind of clear to me that the obvious winner is going to be Cyborg. Right? Right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Do you agree with me? Just because it glows, right? It glows. We don't have any camos that glows. The only, the closest thing to a glowing camo that we have is the Dia de Muertos camo. And that camo only kind of glows a little bit when you're in dark areas. This one just glows all day. You'll be in bright sunshine and it'll be glowing. So Cyborg's definitely my favorite. My second favorite is Dragon. Dragon's my second favorite just because of the texture. Now the Bacon camo has a similar kind of texturing to it. And as far as I know, in the game, those yeah, those two are the only camos in the game, if Dragon does get put into the game, that have a different texture to it. So Bacon was kind of a letdown for me because it kind of just looked dirty. The texture was cool, but it just looked kind of dirty. So Dragon would be, I think Dragon would be my second favorite. Paladin, I'm actually kind of disappointed as to how they showcase Paladin because I almost felt like I didn't really get to see it very well. I felt like I didn't really see it properly they didn't show me it properly that might just be me thinking that but paladin looks like it could be a pretty sexy camo i just feel like i didn't really get to see it and in terms of comics it looks way too similar to graffiti it literally looks like graffiti with different words on it <laughs> that's what comics is so i really wouldn't want comics to go into the game and i hope that other people feel like this after watching the trailer because we already have a camel that looks pretty much exactly the same as comics so the two that I definitely do want in the game, Cyborg and Dragon. Now I was a little bit strategic with my voting. When I went to vote, I was thinking, hmm, from watching this trailer, it kind of looks like Cyborg's gonna be the obvious winner. So I'm gonna vote for Dragon, cause that's the one, the second one that I want in the game. So I did vote for Dragon. And when you vote, it shows you the percentage of votes that have gone to each camel. Clearly in the lead was Cyborg. 
Dragon was second, but Paladin and Dragon were really, really, really close. And then Comics was last. I will actually show you the percentages after I voted, after this game is over, because I, do, I, I did actually record that for some reason. I recorded that, so I will show you guys what the percentages were at when I voted, which was at about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you get a little bit of an update. But when you vote, you can only choose one. You only get to vote for one, and this was a little... I don't know, it wasn't confusing, but because they're putting two camels in the game, I think that some people might think that you can actually vote for two camels, but you can't. You can only vote for one camel, and then two of them are going to be going into the game on May 29th. So I would be really interested to know what camel you guys voted for, so please do leave it in the description. I would be really interested. I bet you're all going to say Cyborg. Don't say Comics, though. Don't vote for Comics, please. We already have it. We already have it in the game. Don't vote for it. <laughs> and this whole thing, this whole camel trailer kind of got me thinking about Call of Duty Ghosts and how they're bringing character customization into the game. We can already customize emblems. We can now customize our characters. Why the hell can we not customize our camos? It doesn't even need to be super complicated. You can just have like, oh, a stripes background. Oh, a star background. And then you can pick like different pictures to put on it. Come on guys, let us let us personalize our stupid camos, please. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and the trailer. Don't forget to let me know in the description which camo you voted for. And just a by the way, I have uploaded a League of Legends video explaining the map and explaining the objective of the game. I know a lot of you are kind of confused about the objective, so if you have been wanting to get into League of Legends and you've been wondering about that, check the video in the description. Hopefully it helps you out. Okay guys, bye.